Coming up on UPC, we have highlights from the soccer game against Berkeley. We have all this and much more, and it's starting right now. Good morning and welcome to the Thursday, November 1st edition of the UPC Morning Show. I'm Sam Schmidt. And I'm Kyle Meadow. The Ohio State will be meeting in Mr. Short's room, B8 after fourth block. The group will build, be building teams for future competitions and discussing a design for t-shirts. Honor roll and Dean's List students come by the PTSA Sweet Reward today for a sweet treat today. The freshmen want to say a big thank you to our Peer Connectors here at Countryside. The Peer Connectors have been a great help with freshman orientation and being participants in the shadowing program that allows 8th graders to come visit Countryside for a day. Those Peer Connectors that have been working with the freshman university and around the school are invited to be guests at the final tailgate of the year. Join the freshmen tomorrow at 6.45 p.m. in front of the football field gates for free food and drinks before the game. Some of the most be beautiful compassions in life. We can never help, an help another without helping ourselves. Oh, you win, it's your show now, so what's it gonna be? Cause people will tune in, how many train wrecks do we need to see? Thought this was low, well, it's bad, getting worse. Oh, where'd all the good people go? I've been changing channels, I don't see them on the TV show. One extra degree of effort in life separate the good from the great. Now let's head over to Brett with the latest in sports. What do you have for us, Brett? Last night, the boys' soccer team played Palm Harbor and lost. They are now one and one for the season. Monday night, Ethan Drucker scored the only goal for the night, and Carl Swan, Luis Sabello, Richie Struder, and Rodrigo Barrios all had PKs to win the game. Also, Crowell was outstanding in goal. Here's a few highlights from Monday's game against Berkeley. Boys soccer practice will be canceled for tomorrow. Practice on Saturday will be at 9.30 in the morning here at school. If you have any questions, don't forget to stop by Mr. Sika or Mr. Nolan's rooms. Bucks linebacker Barrett Rude leads the NFL in tackles, but the length of the season seems to be wearing him out. Not only can it hurt a player physically, but also mentally. As Rude quoted, all I do is lay around on my couch all day. I feel like I'm 90 most of the time. Most of this is because the Bucks are yet to have a bye week. John Gruden doesn't like the idea because the teams have already had bye week have more time to prepare for the games ahead. But not everyone looks on it negatively. Jeff Garcia likes the idea because it's a break for the players about halfway through the season. The games following the Bucks' bye week are very crucial, so hopefully they can get things together and be well prepared for the road ahead. That's all I have today. I'm Brett Wozniak with UPC Sports. Back to you, Kyle. Thanks, Brett. Students planning on attending to be a member of the National Honor Society Remember, the deadline for applications are next Monday. Only completed applications will be reviewed. You can drop them off anytime between 2.30 on Monday to Miss McGovern, who is in E3. Yesterday's Halloween show featured our UPC TV technical director, Cindy Abbott. Due to technical difficulties, the movie at the end of the show had to be cut short. But the full version of the short film will be featured online. We'll be letting you know once it's available. For any students that think they might be interested in helping the UPC TV and paw print design their new website, please don't hesitate to see Mr. Zimmerman in K1 or Ms. Dimmer in A3. 
That's all we have for you today. I'm Kyle Medic. I'm Sam Schmidt. And I'm Brett Wozniak. Have a good day, people. Four, three, zero, yeah. The love bug crawls right back up and bites me. And I'm back.